Now, how do we set up Google Analytics? So it is always recommended that you use one particular Google account to use all your Google you know, tools. So Google Analytics, Google AdWords, Google Search Console, Google My Business, all of these should come through one particular account. It's important. Why? Because one particular property could require multiple tools. You have a particular property. It's a website. You do not have any external, you know, if you're running campaigns, you're directing visitors to all pages that are included in your website. You are not using any external landing pages. You need to have a Google Analytics code to track how your website has performed. If you are running PPC campaigns, you need to have the conversion tracking code. In case you are not using Google Analytics code, you would need to have the Google Tag Manager code. For Google My Business, you need to have the same account to have your location registered with Google. It makes it easy because sometimes you need to configure those accounts together. Google Analytics will help you configure Google AdWords and Google Webmasters together within one single interface to understand how your marketing campaign is performing. Which is why we recommend that you always use a single Google account. So the first thing is you log in to www.google.com slash analytics. To the right hand side, you see the kind of options that Google gives you. Google Analytics 360 Suite is an intelligence tool used by Google. When we say intelligent, it gives you an idea as to how the market in general is performing. What kind of categories are users or a certain set of demographic aligned with? What are their user interests? what is being searched. So all kind of intelligence before you actually embark upon a marketing campaign. Then you have Google Analytics Premium, which is a paid tool, a tool that gives you a slight advantage over the current Google Analytics tool, which we are discussing. Adometry is an advertising tool by Google. The next one, Google Analytics is a free for all tool which we will discuss today and then is google tag manager google tag manager is an interface or a tool that helps you manage all your campaigns together when we say campaigns you do not you know need to have a google analytics track uh, tracking code implemented in your website you do not need to have a conversion tracking code uh, from uh, google adwords integrated in your website you can manage all of them through the Google Tag Manager interface. So we will discuss as to how we set up Google Analytics tracking. Logging to Google Analytics with your Google account. Once you log in, let's refer to the left side illustration. This is how it looks. You have home, reporting, customization and admin. Click on the admin tab. You're taken to an interface which gives you an option to create a new account. Click on it. Once you clicked on create new account, you're directed to a screen or a web page that gives you an option as to how you set up your account. Now, what is an account? You could have a client who has multiple websites or properties to track. It could be say HDFC. It's a leading financial services provider. HDFC bank, hdfcbank.com is a website, but it also has an insurance website, HDFC Life is your life insurance portal HDFC Ergo is your general insurance portal so the account is HDFC the property are the websites that fall under HDFC category so let's say I'm 
going to implement Google Analytics for HDFC bank website. The account name will become HDFC. The website name will become HDFC bank. The next field that says website URL. You will need to put in the URL of the website that is HDFC.com or HDFCbank.com whatever it is. Industry category. Why it is important, we'll discuss a little later when we have the practical demonstration. It's used for benchmarking. How much traffic are you getting compared to other website in the same industry? So you need to select the industry correctly. A bank comes under the financial industry, hence select finance. The reporting time is India because you need to have a certain time which Google Analytics considers to be a day or an hour. So you set up India. Once you set that and you click on submit, Google Analytics gives you the code that you need to implement across all the web pages within that particular website. Keep in mind, this Google Analytics tracking code needs to be implemented across all pages. When we say all pages, if it's hdfc.com, if that is the domain, it will come under hdfc.com slash whatever pages come under it. It will come under, say, if you have a subdomain dot domain, uh, let's say blog.hdfc.com, it will come under all pages that come under that also, that particular subdomain. We can filter out data using certain Google Analytics tool. Google Analytics tool gives you that option that you can filter out data separately. Okay, so this particular code needs to be implemented across all pages below just below the head tag and above the body tag. So you when you give it to your web developer or if you are a web developer yourself, you will understand what a head tag and a body tag is just below the head tag and above the first body tag. This is where the analytics code will be implemented. Once you implement, you will get a dashboard. But that dashboard will start showing up result after 24 hours. In order to track instant results, there's a property or a provision called real time. Click on real time and you get to know how many people are currently in your website. Where are those uh, users coming from? Which are the sources that are generating those kind of visits? Is it coming from uh, a particular uh, mobile handset or a desktop. So all of these you get to know which are the pages that are being viewed. All of these is provided in the real time report, instant report. But the overall data is reflected after 24 hours.